be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm actually going to be going over how you can make elaborate snare rolls for trap beats in Logic Pro 10. Uh, specifically Logic Pro 10.8, but like really what I'm going to be showing you, this could be applied to anything. Now we're going to be doing it in the piano, in the piano roll. Um, there's a lot of ways you can do snare rolls other methods and things but i'm gonna be using the piano roll to demonstrate this and now so what i'm gonna do though is i'm gonna come over here to my beat um pretty much we have this intro this long intro with a hook and then like we come over here where the drums are and we have like plenty of different little cool snare rolls so i'm just gonna demonstrate the beat just to let y'all hear what we got going and then i'll go over what we can do to you know what i'm saying do some elaborate snare rolls in Logic Pro 10. So we have this beat here. Basically, um, what I'm gonna first say is come in on each section of the beat. So, like for instance, this is the hook. I'm gonna the verse. So it's kind of like double time. So it's gonna look like it's longer than what it is. But or actually, nah, we good. We on okay. Yeah. So we're good on that. But look, basically, got four bars right here. Four bars right here. Another four. Another four. What you want to do is each four bars, you want to come in and like right here at the end on the fourth measure, come in and drag your um, loop over here on top of the snare that you want to, you know, create a snare roll on. So you just right on ahead of that first bar. And then what you could do is you could just double click on your pattern right here and it's going to open up your um, piano roll. All right. So. I already have a pattern right here. Um, you can kind of just see what I did. But basically what you'll do here is if you push command, it's going to pull up this, this pencil. And then you can like literally come in here on the grid and start clicking these notes in. And um, the notes have different note lengths. The different note lengths are going to, you know, affect how it's going to sound. Moving the note up or down can affect how it sounds. Even layering certain notes can affect how it sounds. So, um, Pretty much that's what we got going on here. I'm going to show it be going through the steps here in a second and uh, breaking this all down. So let's just look at this pattern right here. How would we make something like that? So let's just say if I was just to um, come over here on this one, push command D to double this. And now I can come over here and make the pattern myself. So I'll take this off. So the first thing is looking at this playhead and kind of like seeing visually where this is landing. And from here, I can actually come in here and push the command and lay these down. So, so I know that there's something to go right here. And I always say to start off simple first and then as you, you know, so like for instance, instead of going, you know what I'm saying? I'll start off with something super simple here. There's three, three uh, notes. And then like, okay, cool. Once you got that and that sounds dope, then start adding to it. So like take this note down like that, hold down option and then drag this over and you can make like three little stutter steps. And you could also take these little small steps and then just keep on moving them around some within the measures. Hey 
Hey, real quick, by the way, did you happen to know that we have something called the Beat Maker Master Bundle? Let me show you what's going on with that. Basically, we have all these courses that you can get from BeatMakingBasics.com, courses, sound kits, and templates. The Beat Making Master Bundle is going to come with everything on our site. So check this out. If you really want to learn how to take your beats to the next level, go ahead and grab this Beat Making Master Bundle. This comes with everything that we offer, bro. And you're going to get all the updates. So when we drop new courses, sound kits, loop packs, all that type of stuff, templates, you're going to get all of those new drops. Grab it, man. You can go ahead and use Shop Pay and make payments on it, or you can just go ahead and pay for it right now. It's no problem, man. This is everything you'll get in here. Lots of courses. Come on, lots of drum kits. Look at all this stuff, man. Everything on the site. Go ahead and grab that now. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. So that's kind of how you get started with it. And then from here, just taking this whole process of just focusing on this one at you know part of your beat and you know doctor it up and just move it around so like for instance i always try to you know change up your your snare roll so in this one it's a little different so on this one like say if we wanted to you know do a, a roll like that let's kind of break down the dynamics of this so again you want to like i would say you know you can mimic it with your with your mouth or you can actually like hear it kind of like what you want it to do and then just by bringing in so like if you want to go just look at the white line right here just uh play here see where you want it to start and then just start drawing the notes in i'm holding an option scrolling left or right to like zoom in if you scroll up or down you can zoom in more like that way too and then we got it so let's check it out cool so you see how I'm starting off um, pretty simple first I just got five notes right here or five little um, yeah MIDI notes but now when we zoom in <clears throat> and come over here and add some variation highlight the note hold down the option I can drag this over some you know what I'm saying you know you can come over here and drag that over like that too If you want to go, want to go, da, 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 then okay, we come over here and add another note right there. Okay, so that's how you do that type of um, roll. Then I got another roll over here where I kind of do some, I layer some of the the, the hi hat sounds. So let's check it out. So like just looking at that, you can kind of see I have kind of like these little pairs. So that all makes a difference in tell you how your sound sounds. So let's just go ahead and do that over here. Okay, cool. So like with this one. Instead of just kind of like spinning the notes over, I can come over here and layer it. And I can still add some like variation. Just holding on option, then let go. Option, let go. We'll highlight this, hold on option, and then drag these two notes. And now we have both of these. And I can also do things where I like these down like that so let's check this out so yeah man this is just you know some tips on how you can make some elaborate snare rolls in logic pro 10.8 uh, so appreciate y'all watching make sure you get subscribed to the channel and visit my website you can definitely want to do that you know we're dropping new courses and new content there as well exclusive stuff you know a lot of the courses actually all of the courses have a full curriculum have at least an hour to five hours plus of content so check out what we got going on on the site appreciate y'all watching get subscribed to the channel if you're not already and i'll see you in the next video